So images are the catalyst that make or break presidents, sterilize the public outrage over unjust wars, skyrocket profits for businesses, and shed light onto society's mysteries. In fact, since their inception, images have inspired, informed, spoken truth, and pro uh, proven. They have documented lives as well as saved lives. Good morning. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the role the visual media has on has taken on political candidates and its growing influence on voters. In a world of constant technological advances, visual media in the political field has grown to be a revolutionary influence over the general views, general public's views on candidates and their policies. Nonverbal communications expert Mark Bowden once stated that a voter may not understand or completely or a voter may not understand all the candidates' policy, policies or completely or or know exactly what they stand for themselves, but they may well trust them. If they trust that they will put an X. So this means that if a candidate can come off as welcoming and have a charismatic image for voters, they are still likely to vote for him, even though they don't understand. They're not, they don't understand where to stand on this. Politicians are coming to terms with how they are judged, how they judge how they look and how they behave. They are having to offer the right brand of an overall image. For politicians, photos portraying them with family, giving a speech, or participating at events allow the public to become familiarized with them and offer proof of Proof to back up their words. Advertisers believe that photographs are the most convincing type of image because they can offer a sort of realism and truthfulness. They have the ability to, gl to glorify and glamorize an object. And here are some examples. This is Mitt Romney and how he's being portrayed in the speech. Um, Obama's hope uh, image. This is John Edwards with his family and Hillary Clinton. In campaigns, photos help familiarize the candidate with voters and therefore create a sense of connection and understanding between the voters and the candidates. In the first ever televised, in the first ever televised debate, when President Nixon and John F. Kennedy went head to head, it was John F. Kennedy's visual apparel, apparel that drew voters into believing that he was the winner of the debate. While people who heard the debate via radio, they voted Nixon to be the winner in the debate. The so marketing domain is largely visual, which explains why politicians constantly strive to make a good impression. They are selling themselves and their ideas in the most appealing way possible. Edward McCann, fashion editor for the Australian newspaper, notes that the way politicians dress reveals a lot about who they are and how they want to be, seen by the public. For example, she explained a politician, a politician wearing a, a politician wearing a single breasted suit wants to come off as younger. He's not that outrageous as the He's not that outrageous, but he's still a younger kind of candidate um, in terms of the stricter, more conservative, double-breasted suit. Examples of this, of how candidates are really taking into account their images. President Al Gore <coughs> hired Naomi Wolf, who is a feminist author, to increase his popularity with the female population. In the 2000 election, John Edwards paid $400 for a haircut, and John McCain paid $5,500 for a makeup price. Candidates are now using, utilizing their influence on their parents to reinforce their verbal messages. Image consultants are being called upon and called behind scenes and are discussing facial hair, suit color, even lens type for glasses. Ex-Governor Sarah Palin 
skirts who's portrayed as a conservative as a conservative, and she also scored points with the Republicans as a result. People also take into consideration a candidate's vis visible strength. Patsy Cisneros, which is someone I interviewed for a previous project, stated that during the campaign you have to look the part. You can you have to look as if you can handle it. In the field you have to you have to have the people and the voters believe in you. If a politician reveals his or her nervousness through body language, the audience can feel it too. Become nervous and therefore associate the politician with that feeling of uneasiness. For example, gripping, clenching, clutching, feeling with one feeling with one's hands or playing with objects are all signs of nervousness. Politician who carry, politicians who carry the their appearance well, however, are seen as are seen differently. Ronald Reagan was said to always have um, confidence, optimism, and he was like he portrayed power and was always so welcoming, and interested, and enthusiastic because of the way his posture, how he always had perfect posture. The visual elements that help and maintain politicians' image are also the, help, the same elements that can help destroy it. A candidate's trailing in polls is often tempted to pull down the opponent rather than develop a positive case for himself, which usually takes a longer period of time. Today's technology makes it easy for campaign sabotage. Posters, photographs, and videos can all be easily retouched and made to transmit offensive and unrepresentative messages about candidates. The goal of misleading and falsified information is not is not necessarily to prove that a candidate is wrong or is doing something wrong, but simply to raise doubts. So while they may not give concrete evidence about their stance, they are meant to provoke a, provoke negative emotion towards the candidate. The involvement of the visual media in politics has increased the importance of candidate aesthetics and therefore evolved the way that candidates present themselves. In recent years, a politician's image has grown to be a huge factor on how, on how audiences vote in elections. As visual media increases, so does visual criteria. Politicians have become a brand and are now being judged on how well they wear themselves. People judge and vote for candidates based on how they present themselves as well as how they present themselves in other occasions. No longer are the views of politicians the sole determinant of whether or not they win or lose an election. Patsy is not here, right? Yes, sir. Oh, there you are. Yeah. I didn't see you. I looked in the, I, w I went to my left instead of my right. Go ahead. All right. Um, I thought you had great, um, s some good evidence for, like, for example, the um, how much they spend on on makeup and hair, and that provided good evidence in your um, in your point, which is how image impacts um, art or influences. The only thing I would probably work on was on your trends. Transitions, or is that what Transitions, yeah. Transitions. Um, it was kind of hard to f find out what your three main points were. I got the one from the advertisement and the borders candidate, but I wasn't able to get the last one. So other than that, I noticed you made a good effort to make eye contact, which was really good. And yeah, so. All right. Uh, I thought you rushed the opening a little bit. You need to pace it out because you're introducing a concept here. You've got several uh, explanations, uh, justifications, and ideas that you're introducing to us, and it felt like you were getting through that as quick as you could to get to your thesis. Once you got to the thesis, I thought that you settled down a little bit and were much more specific about where you were going. Uh, the preview was a little abstract, but the goal that you had set up, I thought, was very clearly stated. In the body of the speech, uh, you've got a lot of examples. Uh, sometimes there is just a visual referent and your conclusionary statement about those things. There were a couple of places, though, that you had some quotes and some incidents that you pointed to that I thought were pretty effectively included in the presentation. Um, the explanations sometimes sound like they're at a very generic level. I'll give you a quick example of something that I thought jumped out at me that 
didn't seem like it was consistent with what you were talking about. The uh, image that you showed of the